In basketball, the battle for the top seeding in the co-operators general insurance basketball Premier League is still a two-team tussle. Leaders Barbados Lumber Company LSC and Small to Pylons both had easy victories last night at the Willie Gym. Pylons blew away Combine School's Tridents in a high-scoring affair, while LSC also had a 20-point margin of victory over Warrens, but theirs was in a low scorer. Nikolai Burton was as productive as anyone on the court. This floater, good for two of his 15 for the schoolboys. But the problem with that was that the other players, the power ones, were all from Pinelands. Halle Franklin of the block, Charles Vanterpool of the pitch, Jeremy Gill of the feed, and Junior Moore with two of his game-high 18. Now with a weak zone defense, Vanderpool knocks down this uncontested jumper as part of his 16. Daniel Lovell only had a seven, but he made the highlight reel with this and one. As the men in black were up by 22 at half, the Pine were looking to pound the ball inside on the smaller schoolboys, but Ramon Simmons was still lurking on the wing as a plan B. Give him 11. And the Triders knew it wasn't going to be their night when even their players were slipping and falling flat leaving Franklin for a two the easy way part of his 10 point night now despite the slaughter Avery Bryan still made the highlights he got the only block shot by the Tridents sending back the weak stuff from Anthony Barrow but the overall picture wasn't pretty as Pylons completed the business with an exclamation point by 26 points 85 to 59 leaving the Tridents ducking for cover Game two and Keith Burkett got the Lakers off with a three. It would be that type of night for him. He hit three of those en route to a game high 17. The Lakers really pushed the ball up court, catching Warren's napping at times. Ormond Haynes benefiting from this run. He had 12. Warren's had just one player in double figures. Big man Pearson Griffith with 13. Adrian Allman had an ankle injury in the Lakers' last game against the Triders. He looks fine to me now, going for the reverse and 11 points on the night. As he and the Lakers moved from a 19-point halftime lead to win by 25 in a low-scoring affair, 62 to 37. In football, Real Madrid kept alive their hopes of a treble this season as they beat arch-rivals Barcelona two goals to one in the Copa del Rey final today in Spain. A superb solo goal by Gareth Bale proved the difference after the scores were locked one all midway through the second half. Real now can add two more trophies to their cabinet as they're in the Champions League semis and they're also currently second in La Liga. The Barbados Association of Dragsters and Drifters will be heading to Thickets for its first event of the year. It will be this weekend. It will set for April 19th. And over 45 road legal entries are in for the meet, which organizers say is bringing out the big names in local motorsport. The magical unicorn in the north one, Mr. Ricky Juice, he has his affectionately known name. Uh, he's making an appearance this Saturday. Um, we have the likes of um, David Balgoman, he's, he's coming, he's usually a tuner, he pre prepares cars to race, but he's actually coming. Um, to the public, a few other names that would be known as um, Kerry, Kerry Dan, but um, the, the real big names I have to speak about is um, the likes of Sammy Kamabach, his car, he had gone into an accident last year, but he's back out now, and we have Roger Mears, he's also in preparation to come. So that is the real big surprise that everybody's looking for, Roger Mears. For the first time, he'd be bringing his attack to Saul Youssef, who is actually the fastest man on four wheels in Barbados. Well, all that action this Saturday set to run from 2 till 6 in the evening. Now, as the city of Boston marked one year since the tragic bombings during last year's marathon, officials there were given another scare with the 2014 event set to run off next Monday.